me, Miss Mazidi. I know it's been a while, but <laughs> let's just say the pandemic really threw me for a loop. And I tried filming a video during the year and it just went to crap and editing sucked. So <laughs> I lost the footage too. So that was kind of like a, 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 a dud, so to speak. And then once something doesn't work out, you get really discouraged. So yeah, needless to say, it's been a good while because of stuff. And I have lots to talk about. So let's get started into this video. By the way, I'm wearing plain old regular clothes today because it's too damn hot outside and I did not feel like dressing up today. Um, so jeans and a tank top it is. Let's go get groceries. Man, they are on top of things here. You guys are already loading my trunk. Um, I've been doing pickup for a long, long time now, so I think it's better because I'm still kind of staying away from going inside stores lately. I only go in there if I absolutely need something and I don't have like a lot of groceries to order because they have required minimums now to get pickup. So um, usually like if I need something quick, that's when I'll go in. But lately I've been ordering all of my groceries. But man, I feel for these guys, it's so hot. Thank you too. Time to go. The best cheese ever. You gotta have cotija cheese in order to do Mexican plate stuff. It's hard for me to stay away from carbs because they help me with my energy. So I'm getting low carb stuff. So at least that helps. Tortilla chips. I get blue corn ones because they're lower in carbohydrates too. And my favorite thing that I've been into right now, Topo Chico soda water. And not just that brand, like Perrier and all that, just carbonated mineral water. Oh, I love it. I need to get rid of this. Actually, I'll have one of these. I got the lime ones and I didn't really like it. I just like the original ones better, but I'll have the last one. I go again dropping you all let me see if I can do it in here so that way it won't fall right. here in the cabinet not in the closet but in the cabinet <laughs> Topo Chico oh come on ah, yeah. look at that fizz It's so good when it's hot outside. I'm gonna be making some shrimp cocktail today. It's my specialty because I used to work at this restaurant called Barriras in El Paso. And let's just say I know a little trick to make it super tasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we can, uh, actually what I need to do is it's raw shrimp. So I need to cook the shrimp, put it in an ice bath so they're nice and cold. And once they're done cooling down, then I can start preparing the cocktail. in my breast and I completely forgot it was there wow wow <laughs> so I've just decided to just make the shrimp cocktail because I want it to be really cold and then while I talk to you it'll be chilling and then by the time I'm done talking it'll be ready some green onion cilantro one stalk of celery, spicy clamato, 
I got diet orange soda, not regular orange soda. Hot sauce. Gotta have hot sauce. Tabasco's good too, but I like Louisiana hot sauce better. Usually I only take one of these. One of these. And then if I think feel like I need more, then I'll get more. Oh, and by the way, lots of avocado. I might put two, but one large one should be okay. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the cilantro. And put this back in the bag. I mean, I love cilantro, but not that much. And lots of green onion. Um, so, I have been MIA because of the whole pandemic. I went through a lot. I went through a bout of depression. I gained about 40 pounds. Um, stress was a big factor in it. And a lot of things happened that changed my life. Um, I broke up recently with my boyfriend after seven years. And... I was living with him at the time and we broke up in January and I was still living with him until March. So that took a big toll on me um, because of course that's a very awkward situation. And of course I was always fighting with him and battling with him about getting back together. This time it was the last straw. Um, st long story short, he was an alcoholic. So, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I'm not going to make it seem all happy. and Or actually, we were breaking up because of amicable reasons or anything like that. It actually was a pretty drastic and life-altering experience. And I went through a whole thing with that as well. And it's been hard. Uh, or it had, it had been hard. And now that I'm feeling better about things, I'm actually doing stuff now and actually doing uh, activities. I dropped the whole thing of onion. Whoops. A lot of stuff has happened. And I was just trying to cope with it the way that I could possibly do it, you know? And... It's devastating when you lose the first love of your life. Um, it's really, you really have to gain a new perspective about yourself because during the pandemic, like I said, I had gained a lot of weight and I am usually one to be very confident in myself and my body, but going through that pandemic, fighting and being with him and being so stressed out. Family members getting sick, me being worried about their health, and then having to deal with an alcoholic at the same time because he needed to cope his own way, and that was through alcohol. So it was devastating, and I'm still tr strug I still struggle with the the whole experience now. I am nowhere near ready to go into a new relationship because I'm still heartbroken, um, tra I'm traumatized, and I just want to take things slow and discover, rediscover myself before I go into anything other than a relationship with myself. My relationship with myself is more important. So... That's what I'm concentrating on right now, and that's where I am. I'm still trying to, to process and recover, and now that things are opening up again and people are getting more vaccinated, I'm feeling a lot more less stressed and more confident in myself and my goals and my work. A, lot, a big thing happened with my work and I lost my job, but then I got a good new one, and it's so much fun. I'm an IT manager for a TV station now, so the experience is awesome so far, and I feel so fulfilled in what I do, 
and my coworkers are amazing. And that has really helped me cope with what's going on. It has really helped me get through this whole ordeal. And of course my friends, oh, my friends here in Albuquerque, my close friends have helped me so much and have helped me through the difficulties and the struggles and then just helping me cope with everything that's going on. They've been such good friends and the best of friends and I'm so grateful to them. Um, if they see this, I hope they, they know that. And I couldn't have, I couldn't have done it without them. So yeah, that's what's been going on guys. Like that's life, I guess, you know, and you have to just move on and be confident in yourself always. And just trust that things happen for a reason. I wish I didn't have to learn the hard way, but I did. And that's what's been going on, and that's what I've been dealing with lately. It, it, you can just imagine me feeling guilty at the same time for not pursuing my goals and my dreams. As a YouTuber, I have always loved doing YouTube videos, and it's just been hard <laughs> to even have the confidence or the ability to even start a video. And that's been a struggle in itself. My next goal is to feel better on my feet because that's the main goal right now that I have. Um, I've lost a lot of confidence gaining weight, but that's something that we always struggle with, even though we're very body confident, us plus size ladies that are always body positivity um, inducing and, and body positivity promoting. We always go through it. There are times where when clothes don't fit, that were your favorite clothes. When you look in the mirror and you look, look like a completely different person than you were a year ago, it's hard. But you need to keep focused on yourself and you need to be satisfied with who you are. And I have to keep reminding myself that because I'm only human. So you're not alone. Everybody goes through it. And I went through it. Through it. What I'm going to do is I am going to put in my clamato. I got the very small bottle. I'm going to put it in there in the big bowl. Put in my avocado that I cut up. This is always so messy. I love avocado. Love avocado. I could eat that all the time, which I have been actually. I'm going to put my cut up onion, celery, and cilantro. Then I'm going to put in diet orange soda. And this is to taste, okay? So every anytime you're doing something like this, oh, I forgot about ketchup. You need ketchup too. You're always gonna put in to taste. I like to get this spicy ketchup from Whataburger. It's the shit. And I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Also to taste, guys, this is all your preference. Let's put that in there. And then, some Tabasco, or uh, what is it, Tabasco? No, it's not Tabasco, it's hot sauce. A splash or two of hot sauce. All right, this is what it looks like. Dang, it looks so good already. So you just mix it up. The liquid part of the shrimp cocktail. This is Mexican shrimp cocktail, okay guys? I'm gonna taste and see if this juice is good and see if it needs anything. So I'll take a little sip of the, of the juice. Oh, I found a piece of avocado skin in here. Where is it? It's so good, guys. It is the shit. I have to get a paper towel. So 
You have to let the, sh the shrimp cool or you can already have pre-cooked shrimp and defrost those or get it from this grocery store. You can chill those. Then you have to make sure that you soak it in the cocktail. Okay. And then they go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. Oh, let me mix it up a little bit. I'm mixing the cocktail and then I'm going to put it in, back in the fridge. And since they've been chilling in the fridge, I mean, it's all up to you. You can leave them, you can eat it immediately if you, if you want, because everything's cold. But I like it really cold, and I really like the shrimp to soak in the juices. So I'll put them in the fridge for like another 30 minutes. All right, I'm going to clean up, and then we can sit down and talk. Let's see if this is a good angle. Nope, that's not a good angle. Oh, that's all right. I've been like super exhausted really easily lately and that's just one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of get better on my feet and feel better on my feet I mean and um, I've just been waiting for the opportunity or the willingness to go swimming again because I love swimming as a as a form of exercise that's what I love to do. I love being in the water. So lately, um, I've been just trying to eat better, um, trying to stay away from sweets. Well, this the main reason is because I am pre-diabetic. I have a really good chance. It runs in my family. I have a really good chance of being diabetic. So I want to avoid that as much as I can. Uh, my blood sugar levels were actually really high last year. Or the year before, I mean. And that's why I had gone into the keto diet. But then that was really easy to fall off of. And then I gained all the weight back plus more. So I've been just trying to avoid sugar and a little bit of carbs. And have it in moderation. Just because carbs help, <coughs> help me a lot with my energy. And uh, been staying away from sodas and stuff like that. Except for... Um, carbonated soda or carbonated water that helps me curb my my um need for soda and uh i've been just going about my day day to day trying to figure out how to live on my own again and uh just be a single person and um i have a new place but yeah, that's basically what's been going on with my life lately. And I'm so sorry I was gone for so long. But I I hope this video clears things up as to why I've been gone. I'm a part of a new YouTube group called the Vintage YouTube Guild. Um, and they really have encouraged me to start up my videos again. So let me know in the comments down below what you want me to start doing again. What you miss, what you love what you hate so that way I can know exactly what you are interested in. Thank you guys for sticking around <laughs> and watching this video. I hope um, you, I hope to really stick with it again and get into the groove again and get into a schedule again. And um, since everything's opening up, uh, I need to start practicing my singing and get, getting ready for Viva East in the fall. It was gonna be in July. I'm actually gonna go to Boston, so stay tuned for that vlog, cause I'm definitely gonna vlog. My first trip ever to the Boston area, including Salem. We're gonna go to Salem, I am so excited. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be wearing my little La Femme Noir dress that I got Sleepy Hollow style so I'm so excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, you know what to do about YouTube videos. I don't have to remind you. <laughs> There's a bunch of YouTubers that are vintage style that you can support and they're lovely. So just look up the YouTube uh, Vintage YouTube Guild and start looking for creators like me. There's also other plus size vintage YouTubers in there. So if you're more looking for like 
advice for plus size women. There's plenty more where I came from. Thanks again, guys, for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And I wish you all the best. Until next time. Bye-bye.